Good morning. This is Pastor Fidencia. I want to speak to the parents this morning. Parents, you are already doing an amazing job. And I understand sometimes the struggle. I really do, because I'm a parent myself. But I want to talk to you about your prophetic actions. Prophetic actions when you throw your hands up in the air and you declare you can't go with your children anymore. You wash your hands from them. Those are prophetic words, prophetic actions. When you do that, you are literally turning them over to the enemy so the enemy can have his way with them because they need a covering. They need a covering. And if they don't have that covering because you've thrown your hands up in the air, who you think is going to take them under their wings? And we're seeing it in our communities, in our nation, where the gangs are accepting them. So parents, if you are one of them who has thrown your hands up in the air, I ask you to go on your knees and ask God to forgive you. And ask God to show you how to embrace your children again. Number one. Number two. You speak negative things over their lives. You call them all kinds of things. All sorts of things. You tell them that they're going to be like their father. Especially if, they're fa if, it's not in a, if it's not in a good light. It's in a negative light. And you speak all manner of negative things over them. Stop it. Parents, you need to stop it. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. And you're going to eat whatever you say. If you say good, you're going to eat of it. If you say bad, you're going to eat of it also. So ask the Holy Spirit to, re ask you to repent. Ask God to help you, to forgive you for all the negative things you've spoken over them. And reverse it and begin to start speaking positive things over their lives. Number three, don't always give them their way. The devices that you give them just to get off of your back, it's a bad thing you're doing. Those devices are not good for them. We can't always control what sites they go on. So what I do, I ask the Holy Spirit to get my daughter. I say, Holy Spirit, you know she's watching something she shouldn't watch. Get her Holy Spirit. When I tell you to invite the Holy Spirit into your home, take me seriously. The Holy Spirit has transformed my home and my life. I kid you not. Right? Don't give them their own way. Don't go into the supermarket and ask them what they want. Do not go into a play store and ask them what they want. You let them work for it. You say, you know something? You need to get your grades up. And if you get your grades up, then we can talk about you getting this phone. Then you can, we can talk about you getting this iPad. Get your grades up first, right? Get them enrolled in a Saturday morning program, football, right? Piano. I mean, piano might not be free, right? If you have the money to pay for piano, pay for the piano. Art school, dance school, something. Something that the government is having. Saturday mornings, there's, uh, there's more than likely a football camp that is going for little girls and little boys. And don't just send them, go and sit down. Because let me tell you something. They have a lot of lesbians and gays in these areas lurking around to watch your children so just don't send them go with them sit down and watch them they, they love when you come and spend time with them my daughter just said mommy you come in yes i'll be there i might not be there but daddy gonna be there right if some if you can't make it please try to get somebody to go and somebody who you trust and number four i want to talk to you about sunday morning right the children laying down in their bed sleeping why the enemy out there rampant? Huh? Get them in church. Get them in a Bible believing church. A church that is going to teach them spiritual warfare because their spirits need to be fed just like me and you. Right? Don't talk about, oh, they ain't got no church clothes. They ain't got no church what? Yeah, but you could find Adidas and you could find all kinds of sneakers for them to go to all kinds of events. Stop it, parents. The children are crying out for our attention. Send them to church. Matter of fact, don't even send them to church. Take them to church. And I would dare anybody to say, when you take them to church in a jean pants, say, oh, why you have on that jean pants? Take them to church in the same jean pants and t-shirt. Right? We need to stop this thing about they ain't got no church clothes. Every clothes is 
is activity clothes. Wherever you're going, that is the kind of clothes you need to wear. Stop it. So parents, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for the parents. I pray, Spirit of God, especially for the mothers that are struggling, single mothers. I pray, Spirit of grace, that you would captivate their hearts. Lord, heal their soul, heal their minds, heal their homes. Their children are going to school and they're bullying other children. And we need to pray for our children, Lord. Show us how to pray for them. Show us how to bring them up in the right way, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for that parents who have thrown their hands up in the air. Lord, I take down their hands right now. I arrest them. Father, in the name of Jesus, cause the Holy Spirit to arrest their tongue. And speaking positive things over their children's life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, Holy Spirit, come into our homes. I release you. Because of the, 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 the anointing that you've placed on my life, I release the Holy Spirit into your homes today. So that your children can be all that God has called them to be. So that they can have all that they have, God has called them to have. And so that they can rise up and do what God has called them to do. In Jesus' name, amen.